Alex, a lot of autograph signing here today in Washington at the City Open. I saw you shaking the elbow. Uh, a lot of hard work for you. Yeah, for sure, a bit, uh, especially after the practice. And, but it's always nice to meet the fans and uh, make them happy. I saw you signing the back of some shirts. What would be some of the more unusual things over the years you've been asked to sign? There's been a lot of things <laughs> that I signed. I mean, uh, tennis balls, all kinds of stuff, ra rackets, uh, anything you can write on, pretty much. I recently saw you uh, rapping from Umag, and I've got to say, you knocked it out of the ballpark. It was a great performance. Are you confident getting up there and rapping in front of a crowd? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much confident. Uh, I do that sometimes in uh, karaoke in the Ukraine, so I'm used to that. And. Uh, we just talked about it, uh, picked a song and, and did it. It was pretty fun actually. Uh, it's your first time playing the, the City Open and you said to me earlier in the week that if you had some time you'd like to go to the Air and Space Museum if you get the chance. Why that museum in particular? Uh, because uh, it's interesting for me, you know, I, I like uh, stuff connected to space and uh, I, I think it's fun to see something like that. You know, I've seen a lot of museums uh, over the world and uh, it's tough to, you know, to, to find something new and I think that's new for me. I've never been in something li like that and uh, I think it'll be interesting. You're about to play your first event of the North American Hardcore Swing and this will be your third different surface in three tournaments. You reached the UMAG semi-finals on clay and before that the second round of Wimbledon on grass. Do you adjust to new surfaces quickly? Yeah, pretty much. My game is um, all over the court, so I don't need much to adjust, you know. I, I adjust pretty well to every opponent and uh, to every surface, so I think I'll be good, even though the conditions here are a bit tough, you know, the balls are flying, it's hot, but I think I'll be fine. You started the year by reaching the final in Brisbane, and you're at number 25 in the South African Airways ATP rankings. How do you assess your season? so far? Well, it's been up and down a lot and uh, I haven't been playing a lot of uh, lower, lower tournaments, the 250s, and uh, it's tough, you know, you get a lot of good opponents on the bigger tournaments, so it, it's been up and down, good and bad, but uh, of course my expectations were higher. I was uh, uh, setting a goal to get to top 10. I got injured a bit a few times, so I mean, I can't say it's bad. It's uh, average for now. And just finally, I know you're great mates with your coach Jack Reader, but there must be something about the Aussie that gets under your skin that you find quirky. Can you tell me what that might be? Sometimes he talks too much. <laughs>